there are so many Jamaican professional footballers playing their trade all over the world, you know, and most of these ballers often go unnoticed and are most times overlooked because of the leagues or the country that they are playing in. This is mainly because of the lack of viewership or I would say the proper scouting in these less popular leagues. And you know, most of these footballers might not have the full requirement or the full potential to make the national team. But there are a few out there who possess the ability, have the requirements and have even already represented the country on a senior level. One such person we're going to talk about today is Norman Campbell. Yes guys, Norman Campbell. And I am here to tell the JFF and the Reggae Boys coach, Mr. Heilmeyer Algrimson, why they should be taking a look at this youngster. This is Soccer 876, so just stick around with me guys while we discuss this. Greška tamo koju pravi Mateja Đorđević. Campbell, Campbell bržio Đorđevića. Campbell, velika šansa, Javor Matis vodi. 59. minut, Radivoj Bosić dolazi do pogodka. I gosti na krovu tržnog centra stadion. Arman Widi Campbell, yeah, the midfielder. He has been playing in Serbia. For three years now, you know, where he currently represents the club Javor Ivanchika. He was at Kukariki before that, and before all of that, he was at um, Graficar, Club Grafika. These are some Serbian clubs, and we can't really pronounce them names properly, so bear it with guys. And as I said, though, he was he represents now currently represents three clubs in Serbia, but the first two years were really not so great. You know, he struggled to get minutes at Grafika playing in about, I think about um, 12 games accumulating a little over 900 minutes and only scored three goals for Grafika. Then he moved on to Kukariki, participating in about 13 matches, I think, but he got significantly less game time at Kukariki though, because I think he played like uh, just over 350 minutes for Kukariki. Then, in 2022, he made a move to Javor Ivanchika, where he's currently having a breakout season so far, amassing over about like 2,000 minutes in and having about 35 games he's, he's played in so far. He scored, scored about seven goals this season and having about four assists. You know, him, he cannot operate from anywhere across the midfield. To the forward line but his main position is mostly on the wings where he has been doing it for Ivan Jika this season switching from the left to the right sometimes even playing in the forward position for them let's talk about his main attributes what are his main attributes his main attributes are he has pace and he has very good acceleration he has flair he is very very aggressive dribble his dribbling is very good. He can get past players. He can use both feet to shoot. He can jump. He can head a ball. So he has very, very good attributes for a winger. And as I say, his determination and his will is, is very, very high. He is very determined for success. I know that. I know that. He debuted for the Reggae Boys in 2020 also. He has only three caps for the national team though. So he never really got much game time you know to prove his word for jamaica mr algrimson coach if you need a speedy skillful winger who has a tremendous work rate and a mentality of a winner you need to start looking at this player norman campbell who is he's doing so so well flying under the radar you know due to the fact that the league that he is in is not one of the top leagues of this world you know but he can be a very very great asset to our country. Norman is and he should be considered as a part of our reggae boys um, set up for the future. We need to get this player back into the national setup now where we are in this rebuilding phase of 
a team where that we are trying to create back a team that can emulate the feat of the great team of the late 90s that took us to the World Cup in France 1998. So now man, if you're me go keep doing what you're doing, continue to make a mark in Serbia, you know? Just keep your games going, keep making strides, and just be ready for when that national call comes again, you know? So this is where I'm going to leave you today, guys. But before I go, I just want to leave you with a question. Is it that the JFF is overlooking the homegrown talent that is out there while trying to pursue less realistic targets because those targets are in a better leagues, not realizing what we already have in most of our talents that are out there in the smaller leagues. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think? You think JFF and Mr. Algrimson, do you think Norman Campbell should be a part of the Jamaica squad? What do you guys think? Let me know. This is Ryan Campbell for Soccer876. Please like and subscribe. See you guys.